Hi, welcome back preschoolers. It is Miss Trisha again, and today we read a story about that cold lady who swallowed some snow. Now we are not gonna be swallowing snow, so if you thought we might, I apologize, we won't. But we are going to do some fun stuff with snow. So the first thing you're gonna have to do, I'll give you some directions and then pause the video and go do it, okay? You need to, with a parent or a grown up, um, you probably wanna put on some gloves, and coat and get bundled up and go outside. You can use a big bowl or if you have like a cookie tray, that'd be good. I use these plastic trays that we use in the classroom for things. Um, put your gloves on and go out and put some snow on your tray and then come back in the house. And make sure that you stay in a spot and watch your video today in a spot that is okay with your grown-ups for you to use snow play in. So I usually, when I do this with my kids at home, will do it on the floor in the kitchen because usually the floor is a little easier to clean up when it gets wet as opposed to like on a carpet or something like that. So pause the video, hit the pause button here, there, wherever the pause button is on your device. Hit the pause button, get bundled up, go outside, get a bowl or a tray full of snow and come back in. And then you can pause the video and see what fun things we're gonna do. So hit pause, pause, freeze. Did you freeze it yet? Don't forget to pause it. Okay, so I'm hoping by now you have paused the video, you have gone out, you have gotten your tray, your beautiful tray of snow and come back in. So the snow that I got, I'll let you see a little better. It was kind of clumped up. It snowed and then it got shoveled over into an area and it started to freeze again. Do you see that? Yeah. So with our snow today, you're gonna to wanna to start off by making sure you have your gloves on. If you don't have gloves, that's okay. You could put socks on your hands to help keep them warm. Or if you're just really brave and you just wanna have cold fingers, you can always just keep your hands out in the open. We're gonna start off though by smushing. If your snow is like mine and it's kind of clumped up, you wanna push it down and break it into little pieces. I'm gonna try not to get this on the computer because I'm getting it all over. So smush it down. It's just snow. Snow melts into water. It's not a big deal if it gets all over. We're gonna smush it down so that it's in smaller pieces. Sometimes you can just rub the snow with your hands and it'll like fall off into littler pieces. Hopefully your snow won't have this problem, but maybe it will. So we're gonna smush up our snow into smaller pieces. You might, if you're having a hard time with it, maybe your snow is already fluffy and in little pieces, that's great. If you're having a hard time with it, you can always ask a grown up for help. Hopefully they'll be a little better at this than me. I'm kind of getting it everywhere. Anyway, we're uh, smushing up our snow, we're making it snow on our tray or your plate. Because what you want is for it to kind of get flat like it is over here, where it's a little packed in, but it's also a little loose, right? So that's what I'm looking to get all the way across my tray. If you don't have a tray, like a cookie tray or a cake tin to put this in at home, you could also do it on a plate. You could do it on, let's see, uh, if it's okay with your grown-ups, you could do it on a clean, clear part of your table, and then just make sure you wipe it up really well when you're done. This piece looks just like a ball of ice. It's gonna be hard to break down. I'm gonna set that one aside. Work on another piece, because some of these other pieces might be easier to break down. If I was really good at technology, this is where I would like fast forward and go on to like, and then all of a sudden it would be ready. Maybe what I'll do instead is take some of this extra snow out. So I can break these pieces up a little easier. I'm almost there. Are you almost ready? If I get done and you still need more time, feel free to stop the video. Just put a pause on it until you're ready. It should look, your tray should look like it just snowed outside and it all landed right on top of your tray or your plate or your cake tin. We're gonna be confusing people. When your brothers or sisters are Cousins come in, they're gonna say, hey, who made cake? I want some cake, but it's not cake, is it? Mm -mm. Okay, my tray is pretty good now, so it's pretty loose. I'm gonna take off my gloves for a little bit so you can see. It's pretty light and fluffy and little pieces of snow. 
and that's just how we want it to be. So today we are going to do two of our favorite things. So we are going to work on some sensory skills because it's not every day that you touch cold, freezy stuff like this, huh? We are gonna work on some writing skills because that's really important in kindergarten. Build up those muscles in your fingers so that you'll be able to do um, more writing when you grow up and you'll be able to do more fine, uh, fine motor skills will come a little easier for you. So we're gonna do that. Um, and we're gonna start off by doing that with writing. So we're gonna use our fingers. If you wanna take your gloves off, that's fine. We're gonna use our fingers and do some writing in the snow. So you've got your nice, clean slate here, right? It's just like your own whiteboard at home. We're gonna start off by writing some letters on it. So I'm gonna start off and show you how to do this with the letter A, because a lot of us know the letter A. And I'll do it upside down even. So I'm gonna draw my lines for the letter A in my snow. Oh, and across in the middle. Do you see my letter A? Do you see it? I made the letter A. I made it in my snow. So we're gonna practice writing some more letters. Another letter that I'm gonna write is this letter right here down like this, down like this, that's the letter Y. I work at the YMCA and sometimes they call it the Y. So I'm gonna work on making my letter Y. So we're gonna pack it all down, make sure it's flat again. If you have trouble using your finger, you could also use a pencil, you could use the handle on like a spoon or a fork, anything that's kind of flat and let you go in here. So I'm gonna make my Y. I'm gonna go down for the short part of the Y. A Y is kind of like two slides, a little slide and then a big slide. So I'm gonna do my little slide and I'll start over here. Last time I kind of drug my finger, Ooh, it's getting chilly. This time I'm gonna kind of chomp, 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 chomp with my finger. Chomp, 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 chomp. Let's see how my Y turned out. Do you wanna see? Okay, let's see. Ah, it's kind of backwards to you, huh? But that's my Y. When you make your Y, make sure that you make your long part on the other side. Here, I can fix that though. That's the nice thing about writing in the snow. It's pretty easy to fix. Okay, you're gonna see my Y now? Y and C A. Okay, so I'm gonna put my snow back together. Ooh, my fingers are getting cold. You can always take a break if your fingers get too cold. Another trick is to put your hands together and rub back and forth really fast. That causes friction, which warms up. The ends of my fingers are cold, so I'm gonna just do it like this on my palms. Okay, ready to go again. Now, after you guys have written some letters, you can keep doing this after the video is done. You pick your letters, you could write your whole name if you want. You could write um, your friend's name. You could write M-O-M -M for mom, or D-A-D -D for dad, or G-R-A-M-S for grams, whatever you want. Um, but not just letters, you can write other things in here too. So you can practice your letters, but you can also practice your numbers. So let's do a number. Hmm, I'll do an easy one first. What number is this? It's a number one, isn't it? Okay, let's do, ooh, flicking it all over on the computer everywhere snowy, watery ice. Okay, let's do another number. <laughs> this number ah, comes after the number one when we count. First, you're getting in the cookie jar and you're getting out one cookie at a time. First, you have one cookie. And then when you get in it the next time, you'll have two cookies. Again, because the way the camera is, this might be backwards for you. So I apologize. Do your best to kind of figure it out and see what it looks like at home. Now, if you're sitting there thinking, what could I write? I don't know what letters or numbers I want to write. Here's one thing that I would suggest for you. You can always look around and look for some environmental print around you. Environmental print, that's a big word. But all that it means is you can look around in your room, in your house, in your kitchen. Look for things that have letters and numbers on them. So in my office right now, I'm looking around and I see numbers on my clock. So I can look at this and try to make some of those numbers. 
I see letters on this book order form. So I could say, oh, there's the letter V, vegetables. Oh, what's this book called? Vegetables in holiday underwear? Weird. Um, I could make a letter V or any of those other letters. That's kind of what I did when I saw the letter Y on my shirt. And I said, let's make a Y. Why not? You can make any letter you want. I'll show you one more thing that you can practice making too. So if you decide that nah, you've practiced all those letters, you've practiced all those numbers, what else could you draw in here? You know what else you could do? You can do shapes. We've been practicing our shapes in some of our videos recently. Remember uh, just a couple days ago that mouse was hiding behind some shapes? We can do shapes in here. So I could do, oh look, I'm gonna use lots of fingers when I do this one. Tell me if you can figure out what shape I'm doing. What shape does this look like? What shape did I make? Is that a circle? No way, not a circle. Circles don't have straight flat edges. Is it a square? Not quite. Squares have four edges. This only has three. This is a triangle. I'm curious to see what other types of shapes, letters, and numbers you are going to write in your snow. So after you've done this for a little bit, make sure you have your grown-ups take pictures of your very favorite. I do this like a camera, but you guys probably don't know what that is. Use your phone. Take a picture of it and have them send it to me so I can check it out. I will see you guys again tomorrow. Take care. Bye.